Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to sell a put vertical in Tastyworks. So we're looking at a chart of SPY. And let's say that your assumption is that you thought that SPY was going to go higher. It was going to continue on and, and continue to go higher. So you wanted to put on a bullish position and you decided that a, a short put vertical was the spread that you wanted to trade. All you got to do is go to the trade tab and you'll see the option chains populate when you're in the table mode. We always want to stay in the monthly option cycles. They're the most liquid and just for consistency, they are uh, annotated by the bolder white and you can see the, see the weeklies and quarterlies have a note next to them with a W or a Q. So the, the monthly cycle with between 30 and 60 days where we like to put the trades on. You can see the April 20th in this case have 38 days to expiration. Simply open those up and it brings up the option chain. So then what we're going to do is we want to sell a put vertical. So a couple different ways to do that. You can piece it together by simply clicking on the bid and the ask. Remember on the put side, these are the in the money options below this line and these are the out of the money options above this line. So when we're selling a put vertical, we typically like to start out of the money. So let's say we looked at the 275 strike and we simply wanted to sell the 275 and then we wanted to buy strikes five points away. So we'd look at the 270 and then we'd click on the ask to buy it. The red outline always indicates you're selling, it also says S, and then the green outline represents buying or B1. So we've got a five point wide put vertical, and then you can look down at your statistics to see that your probability of profit is 59%. Probability of making 50% is 82%. You can see your delta, which is positive. Obviously, this is a bullish trade. We want the stock to go up. You can see your theta, max profit, and max loss for the trade. Okay, so you've got everything right there. The other way to do this, if we clear that out, is to use your strategy dropdown. So we want to do a, we want a short but we want to click on this to change it to put and vertical. And so then you just simply click go and it'll populate onto your screen. Now it all, it automatically goes to the next strike next to, you know, right out of the money. So we need to adjust these. So let's keep that at 276 and let's drag this one. Just simply click and drag to the 271. Actually we had 275, 270, so we can just drag those around and there it is. It's that easy. And you can see the statistics down below are exactly the same. Now you can go ahead and review and send that directly to the broker to get filled. Or if you're like me, I'm a visual trader. I want to look at the curve mode and then click on the analysis. And that'll give you the visual perspective of the trade. So you can see here as you, as you scroll along the green area up in the flag, you can see your profit and loss at expiration, which is the same as your max profit. And then as you scroll along to the red, you can see your P&L at expiration, which is obviously negative. That's when you would start to lose money on the trade. So you've got everything right here. All the statistics are still down here below. If you decide you want to change your strikes, you don't go have to go back to the table view. You can actually just click and drag on these tiles right here, and that'll adjust your potential profit, potential loss, give you an idea of your probabilities and you can just simply click and drag those from there until you get the desired you know, P&L and risk reward that you're looking for on the trade. Once you're done and ready to go, simply hit review and send. Send that into the broker to get filled and you're all set. Hope that was helpful in showing you how to trade a short put vertical in Tastyworks. See you in the next lesson.